infect the endocarditis, the treatment again is the surgery. When there is acute ischemic mitral degradation, rheumatic heart disease, and degenerative heart. So again, the method is the sternotomy, right thoracotomy. Now it is not essential because all mitral heart surgery will be done by the sternotomy. Now minimal invasive surgery, natural thoracotomy, this is used very often. And uh, already patient have to keep on cardiopulmonary bypass. And valves, we have to choose whether it is a mechanical, bioprosthetic, and the most important is caudal preservation. Evidence suggests that preservation of the body and postural lipid mitral wall is important in maintaining the normal LV function. Complete excision is necessary in endocarditis with infective tissue, heavily calcified valvular apparatus, and mitral valve replacement is a higher mortality than aortic valve replacement. Two most important factors are LV function and H2. So, valve in mitral position regenerates faster than aortic or tricuspid. Sometimes in mitral heart surgery, we have to use a tricuspid. Sometimes it needs uh, because of the very high pulmonary uh, artery pressures and tricuspid valve degradation, which is lead to secondary to mitral heart disease, uh, needs the mitral uh, tricuspid valve repair also. So this is very important. Even after uh, mitral valve surgery, if you uh, leave tricuspid valve itself, then patients again uh, came with uh, failure. Uh, heart failure symptoms, so it is very essential to uh, deal with the tricuspid valve also. So, if you will see the uh, valves, basically we have to choose the uh, first. We have to select the patient's age group. Patient is a normal size of CDM or not? Patients the financial conditions, and uh, then only we can choose uh, and the uh, before uh, giving a mechanical valve or bioprosthetic valve. Because we know in mechanical uh, valve, we have to uh, keep the INR, what is the prothrombin inter international normalization ratio, to be maintained in mitral valve, they are about 2.5 to 3.5 in mitral valve. So it is very essential because you have to take a lifelong anticoagulants. Mm -hmm. In uh, bioprosthetic valve, only you can give either two to three months of anticoagulants, all simply antiplated can manage. So it depends in who, what is the uh, age of the patients whether patient is in normal sinus rhythm or in atrial fibrillation, because in atrial fibrillation, we have to give in uh, anticoagulant. But still, nowadays, patients are preferring to buy prosthetic valve. Only problem in bioprosthetic valve is it uh, degenerate faster. But, but still, the third generation of uh, bioprosthetic valve, they can, we can implant uh, and the longevity is near about two decades, near about 15 to 20 years. And here, what happens, patients have a relaxation of Anticoagulants. The most important part because we know the, what is the complication of anticoagulants from the uh, not maintaining INR from the stop valve to the uh, C center uh, cerebral vascular accident. So the and the most important bleeding tendency. Then in uh, by part one the redo surgery if uh, in stop valves or patients having very early uh, progress to the re again recurrent mitral stenosis. Then our valve area is diminished. Then we can go for a reduced surgery. But again, once they reduce surgery in vital valve, again it is very, uh, very costly. Very uh, morbidity and mortality is very high. So, if, but one thing is in uh, bioprosthetic valve, we have been another chance of valve in valve surgery. So TM here. Transcutaneous mitral valve replacement that is nowadays in uh, either uh, it is very good in patients having mitral valve with bioprosthetic or annular ring, so it is good. Another uh, thing it is mitral valve clipping nowadays in mitral severe mitral degradation uh, in non ischemic or having patients with many surgeries, those who are not ideal for any. So, uh, this is not an ideal candidate for surgery. We can go for mitral valve clipping. It, uh, there is no need of surge surgery. You can just clip the two uh, leaflets and uh, you can reduce the mitral regression amount and patient will be improved, uh, symptomatically improved. But it is uh, very costly. Still, nowadays it is uh, 
some indications in severe mitral degeneration. So in total, our uh, drawbacks in mitral health is one is difficulty in diagnosis because sometimes patients presented many times uh, like uh, dyspnea with bronchial asthma, COPD, or any dietary cardiomyopathy. So echocardiogram is one of the most important diagnostic parameter but, uh, and the investigation of choice to diagnose and to classify, to stratify the diseases, mild, moderate, severe, and also what the need of surgery on mitral valve balloon history. Again, in mitral negotiation, whether you can go for annuloplasty, you can go mitral repair, you can go for mitral clipping or surgery. That also decided by the echocardiography. And for treatment modalities, medically, it is only diuretics, beta blocker, and AS inhibitor. And if mitral fibrillation, then uh, digoxin. And third is anticoagulation. Patients without surgery, only arterial fibrillation with yeah, anticoagulants and patients with arterial fibrillation and surgery and anti anticoagulation. Fourth is cost effective. What is the cost effective for the patients? Which surgery or which procedure is fit for the patients? And patients, because usually this we know this mitral uh, diseases is very common in low socioeconomic status. So I think we have uh, going to details in the mitral surgery if